Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog. And today we're actually gonna do something really fun uh, and something exciting for me because there's a lot of Venom miniseries that came out in the 90s that I was telling you guys we're probably not gonna cover because they're not in print. And that kind of bummed me out because some of those things are, some of those stories are really worth talking about. Even though I didn't like a lot of them, uh, there were some really interesting things they did with the character in a lot of those stories. And I was really hoping they would do like a Larry Hama collection and put like The Hunger and License to Kill and some of the other stories in there. And then I was hoping they would do new printing of Planet of the Symbiotes and other things. Well, I got my wish. This is not an April Fool's joke. This came out a couple days ago and I've been wanting to make a video on it ever since. Uh, basically in September and October of this year, they're releasing a ton more Venom graphic novels and uh, including most of the rest of the stuff from the 90s that uh, has never been, some of it has never been collected in a trade before, but some of it that hasn't been collected in a while too. So this is great. That means we're going to be able to talk about pretty much every Venom miniseries from the 90s uh, and then some which is so so cool and the the books i picked up at wondercon recently the the minus one issue seed of darkness and the venom agenda those are being collected in these trades as well so what i'm probably going to do is when we after we finish like poison x and we do all those stories uh and then we finish i'm kind of try to talk up to the death of Anne weighing uh, so that's what we're going to try to do between now and like middle of April is we're just going to talk about the trades that are out now. We're going to do Sinner Takes All and then we're going to do the Return of Venom and the Carnage Devoured thing where he gets eaten by Venom. Uh, and then uh, that, that took place in like Spider-Man the next chapter and, and those are in print so I'll talk about those in those episodes. And then there was uh, after that there's the death of Anne Wang. And once we hit that uh, point there, then we'll probably switch gears and talk about the Ultimate Universe as we lead up to CinemaCon. And that'll be like the week leading to CinemaCon. I'll be reviewing all the uh, the symbiote appearances in the Ultimate Universe, which is going to be pretty cool. So we'll kind of step out of the main universe for a while and go into the Ultimate Universe and have some fun over there, including the Ultimate Spider-Man video game uh, and uh, and all the appearances of the symbiote in that world. So it'll be pretty cool. We'll get to talk about Miles Morales a little bit too. Uh, but so these stories, what we'll do is after we come back to the main universe, we'll probably skip ahead we'll skip past all of these stories and we'll uh, save them for when the trades come out so this makes me feel good so i don't have to talk about seed of darkness right now or venom agenda right now we're going to save all of that for closer to when these trades come out so we can help promote the sales of these trades so probably like august around august uh we will talk about all these books here so i'll put a link down to bleeding cool below uh, they like to go on this on amazon and do this thing called amazon fishing where they look for new trade paperbacks that are coming out i like to do this too probably because i got this from Bleeding Cool, uh, but I've been doing this for about two years now as well. I go and I look and see which new comic books are being listed in trade paperback form. And so it looks like they're going to reprint. And like I said, if you want a full list, all of it is in the link below at Bleeding Cool, so check it out. Um, they're going to re-release Daniel Way's Venom Run, which is uh, 18 issues they're going to put in one graphic novel. So I'm going to guess it's going to be like a $40 or $50 book, but I cannot wait to talk about that one. It's uh, it's called like Run, Shiver, Run, and uh, I can't remember, Twist, I think is the last one. Uh, but it's 18 issues, and it's a very different take on Venom. The first five issues especially are like the movie The Thing, uh, and it's in the Arctic, uh, like an Arctic center, and there's a, you know, a group of researchers and everyone that are being you know terrorized by a symbiote, and it's really, really cool. I actually really love this run. I know a lot of people didn't when it first came out, because it doesn't really deal with Eddie Brock until like the final five issues, uh, and in the meantime, you see like a whole new symbiote, but it involves S.H.I.E.L.D., it involves Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four. It's such a cool, cool take on the symbiote, so they're going to put that in one collection, so I can't wait to talk about that. Uh, also, so Venom Tooth and Claw, we talked about this before, uh, where he fight the first time he meets Wolverine, they're going to put Tooth and Claw, Venom on Trial, License to Kill, Seed of Darkness, Sign of the Boss, which is, Wolf, uh, which is uh, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider versus Venom, uh, and Spider-Man the Venom Agenda, and Venom Finale. So they're going to put all of those, which are like the last four, six, or four or five, uh, you know, miniseries from the 90s, all in one collection, which is going to be really great. And that comes out September 25th. And note that some of these dates are going to be different. This is just the tentative dates now, but they're trying to release a bunch of stuff around the time the movie comes out, which obviously is the beginning of October. So they might spread these out a little bit more. Right now, a lot of them say September 25th and October 18th, and but you might see them spread them even a little bit further out, uh, just to get you know, just to so it doesn't hurt your wallet too much. Uh, but there's also the Cullen Bunn collection, so all of his Agent Venom stuff is going to be put together. Issues 23 through 42 
and the entire Minimum Carnage miniseries, which is going to be great work crossover with Scarlet Spider. And uh, speaking of Scarlet Spider, uh, in his show, that's where we're going to talk about um, Along Came a Spider, the Venom miniseries. We're going to skip over it on the Venom show since we already talked about Exile Returns and introduced a Scarlet Spider to this, you know, to you guys. Um, we're going to do. The Along Came a Spider, which is the rematch. We're going to do that over on the Scarlet Spider show. Also, Spider Carnage, we're going to talk about that on Scarlet Spider show as well. So uh, if you've been waiting for those uh, series for me to talk about them, they're going to be over on that show, and I'll, you know we'll start that show very soon. Uh, there's also Venom Trade Paperback Volume 4, the current stuff. They're going to put Venom 161, which is the one where apparently we found out Venom is pregnant again, and then 164 and 165, which are the two nativity issues that are coming out uh, starting this week. Part one comes out this week. And then to be decided, there's some other things they're going to probably throw in here just to thicken out the graphic novel. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be coming out September 25th. There is a new reprinting of Planet of the Symbiotes. So we are going to get that on September 18th. And it's going to have all five parts of Planet of the Symbiotes and probably the backup stories that were in them that featured, um, I think, a jury member uh, or guardsman or whatever becoming like his female agent becoming a jury member. I think that was the backup story in it. Or maybe there was a lizard backup story. I can't remember. It's so long ago. Um, there's also, we talked about this before, the, the, the Spider-Man versus Venom. I combine their names, Spenum. Uh, the Spider-Man vs. Venom Omnibus, that's going to be coming out, and that's going to be reprinting pretty much all the major battles between Spider-Man and Venom, leading up to issue 375 of the you know, Spider-Man book, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and then also have uh, Maximum Carnage reprinted in here, and the Ghost Rider Spider-Man Venom crossover that we talked about recently, which was called Spirits of Venom. So we'll have that as well. Um, uh, color your own venom the paper the like there's like a paperback coming out with a bunch of pictures of venom in it and you can you know color your own venom so i'll probably buy that and we'll probably just have some fun where i'm just coloring some pages in and while we're talking about venom stuff maybe we'll do a live stream or something like that but yeah that'll be fun so i'm going to definitely pick up that it's 60 pages of art and it's going to be from like you know todd mcfarlane and eric larson mark bagley like all those guys so that's going to be really good uh they're also doing a new printing of dark origin so for those of you who haven't gotten your hands on that they are doing a new printing on uh, coming out September 11th of this year uh, so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that it's gonna have all five issues of Dark Origin in there and if you want pre Venom uh, Eddie Brock stuff that's the most you're gonna get in one story because mostly they only tell Eddie Brock stories with the Venom symbiote this is the I think he doesn't get the symbiote until like issue three or something so yeah it's it's pr it's pretty awesome uh, and then even when he gets it you still get flashbacks of his earlier life which is cool um, I guess they're also doing one called the Amazing Spider-Man uh, Collection. Eric, uh, they say Eric Michelini, but I know they mean David Michelini and Todd McFarlane, but they might also mean Eric Larson because it's going to feature just a bunch of Amazing Spider-Man issues from issue 296 to 329 and the Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number 10, which features that artwork and the writer David Michelini's stuff, Todd McFarlane's artwork, and I think Eric Larson's artwork too, and it'll have a bunch of Venom stories in there. Uh, stuff that you can already get in Birth of Venom, the trade paperback, and the uh, the Vengeance of Venom. If you buy those two or have those already, then you probably won't even need to buy this one, but still, for those of you who want it, it's there. Um, there's also the Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection, the Venom version, uh, which has uh, uh, pretty much the same issues that were in the one I just talked about, uh, and then the like the backup story from the annuals that have like Venom in it. And again, those are already collected in Birth of Venom, uh, these issues here in particular. So if you have that trade, you don't really need to pick that one up. Uh, they're going to reprint Along Came a Spider as well. So uh, we'll, you know, again, another reason to talk about it later. Uh, but in this trade paperback, it's going to have the rest of the 90 series in there, the mini series. So you'll have Along Came a Spider, Venom the Hunted, Venom the Hunger, and the Holiday Special from 1995, uh, which is like a one shot that had been a minute. So pretty much with everything that's out now and everything that's coming out here, you will have almost all, I think minus maybe a couple of issues of like Darkhawk or Daredevil or whatever, but those are being printed in the Venomnibus, which comes out in June. So if you guys already have that pre-ordered or you're already planning on getting that, you'll get those Darkhawk issues and those things where Venom went into other books. I think Quasar was another book he jumped into. So yeah, you're going to get all those in that book. But outside of that, this is pretty much everything else that needed to be collected all in like six you know, awesome graphic novels, and then some bonus graphic novels for people who missed some of the other ones. So this is awesome. I'm so glad Marvel's doing this. So Marvel, thank you so much for giving us these. It gives me more content to talk about as we lead up to the movie. And I will definitely review these stories before the graphic novels come out 
So that way we can help push, hopefully, some sales for the graphic novels. Because if you guys don't own these, you got to pick them up. They're, it's just 90s goodness. You got to have these. Uh, but Dark Origin, that you know came out about 10 or so years ago, a little over 10 years ago, and that was awesome. And if you guys don't own that already, then this summer, this this fall basically is is going to be, you know, you'll have it to buy. So that's awesome. So let me know what you guys think of this. This is just a quick episode I want to do, less than 10 minutes. We're right at the 10 minute marker. So I'm going to go. Link down below to Bleeding Cool. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.